All right, good morning, everybody. We're gonna go uh, pick up our cuss traps and hopefully there's a bunch of cusk on it. Seth says he's not keeping them. All right, first cuss line. We should have brought the spud bar. I'll show you spud. Hammer it! Yeah, it barely froze last night. Got one? The suspense is killing me. Yeah. Ooh, I got something. Yeah, I got something. Oh yeah, I got something. Yeah, we got something. We got something, boys. Right. Boys and girls. Got a good fight to it. Probably a Laker. No, it's Castle always work lines moving. Oh yeah. Alright, here it comes. Oh yeah, I got a cusk. Nice. Look at that. There we go. One slimer this morning. Watch, we're gonna have a whole bucket full today, you watch. I mean, I'll take them all, I just, I would need to flay them tonight in the dark at home. Yeah. Which is not a big deal, but. Number two. One and two. And this one had one on yesterday, so it's a high chance it's got another one. Yeah. Line looks tight, but you never know. It's just frozen in the ice. You got one, don't you? Or swimming with me. I think or you got. I think you got one. No. Nope. All right. No, this is the one that had the cusp. Oh, dude. Yeah, the minnow. All right. Checking another one. One and four. So I'd like to keep it a secret because <clears throat> he doesn't know how to feel a fish. I think this one on there. This, this nice. We got another one. This has got something. Hey, let me do a. I'm gonna film with my, cam my other cell phone too. Ooh. Whoa! Question mark. Uh. Nice! He came out a little bit more fighting. I'm feisty little guy. Yeah, he is. You wanna store him back? Your call. Yeah. Caught him. Yeah, if I can get the cat nicely, then I will. Yeah. There he goes. Now we get my five. One's the check. No, I'll probably get. I don't know. I feel like I feel like mine is having a decent area, but like I don't. Like I hit rock on a couple of these. Like the the weight hit a rock. Well, I was going by what I saw on the ground over here. You know, Want me to hit it? Yeah, uh, no, I got it. Five for Josh. Here we go. Zero. Well, zero out of five, but the ice. There's one on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's why I left my gloves on, just so. I got one, boys. So Not very big. It doesn't feel very big. Spicy. No. <laughs> All right, starting to get a little, starting to get a little wiggly. Yeah, it's coming to the light. Coming to the light. Probably not worth it. You're gone. Yeah, I'm recording. Not a very graceful fish when he goes down the hall. He's like, whoa. Not that guy. A little offset from the middle. Yeah, it's better than this system that I got because mine sometimes if I don't loop it right, it leaves a knot in it. We'll see. Or I don't think. I was watching. Matt. Oh, there's one on this one. We've got a small cusk on. Uh, it's getting bigger. He's fighting. Well, that's decent size. Eater. So if you made it to the cooking part of the catch and cook of the burbot ling ling cusk. Eel pout, whatever you guys want to call them, depending on what state you're in, depending on what country you're in, I guess. Made it to the kitchen. I filleted them all up. I'm not going to do like a filleting video. I'm terrible at filleting. So we're going to chop those up and we're going to 
basically butter some buns real quick. And if you hear any background noise, it's because of my beautiful wife and my little mini me, who's never been on the channel before, but he's super cute. That's Remy and Kelsey. But part of the channel is, is we're doing a giveaway. If you comment on any of my ice fishing videos in the year 2021, all my ice fishing videos up until open water video, you have a chance to win one of my beanie hats, the bend it hat, black, white lettering. Uh, comment below anything you want that's appropriate and that opens your chance to win a bended hat. So follow along for, uh, for cooking. All right, so we're gonna get our pan heated up here. And like I said, I cut the, cut the cusk earlier in the video. We ended up catching a bunch. Uh, but first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna butter the buns with not that much butter. You gotta get color on there. Warm that up. That was too much butter. And the other thing you can do is just put butter in the pan. So we're gonna look lobster roll style, which I've never actually had a lobster roll, but I had a really good scallop roll in Maine two years ago, a year ago, a year ago. There was like Cajun seasoning, so that's what we're gonna do. Put that on there. Get that heated up. In the interest of time, we're gonna start the cusk in another pan just with butter in it. Roasting the buns. I'm gonna chunk up the cusk just into small pieces. So we're just gonna poach those in butter and I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on them and a little bit of pepper. And then a little bit of dill, maybe not, maybe yes. A little bit of dill. And then I'm gonna move them onto a slower burner in the back. Get that nice and toasty, get some butter in there. Pan's a little too hot, that's all right. You want a nice golden color on them. We just wanna cook those just enough so they, you know, aren't, they're just glistening on the inside. And that's a fragile fish, otherwise I would like deep fry it, but it's more like lobster texture and like scallop texture where it's like springy texture. I mean, it shouldn't take long. I'm not timing it or anything like that, but I'm just make sure I'm stirring them around. And these are pretty much done, but I like to make sure that everything's dead, especially in fish. Hope you guys can see that. The camera won't fog up. It's really good. All right, it's just flaking apart, so that's done. I'm gonna take them off the heat and put them screaming hot right into a bun with some homemade Cajun seasoning and you can look up just how to make Cajun seasoning or buy it, it's pretty simple. And these little unseasoned guys, just with salt and uh, butter and stuff, go to my little boy. So here's the real taste test. Who he loves using the strainer for everything. Kelsey's gonna let him try a little piece of fish first. You blow it hot? I'm gonna blow on it though. Hot? Good job. <laughs> okay, your turn. Eat it. Better eat it. Oh no. How about if I eat it? Mm. Put it here and you eat it on your own time. There we go. Ooh, you like it, huh? Is it good stuff? Yep, good stuff, Daddy. He's good with this method for now. I don't eat this on your plate. He likes to steal what's all your plate. <laughs> so here's the test here. I'm gonna rip that off. Nice Cajun seasoning. 
That is really good. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment below for a chance to win a hat.